writing about the importance of Montenegrin forests in mid-1896, the daily newspaper, Voice of Montenegrin, said, They're a source of wealth and fertility, and even more than that, they're a source of health. Where there are more forests, people live longer. In terms of their value, preservation, arrangement, variety, method of management, and their impact on the environment, forests in Montenegro are amongst the best in Europe. And Montenegro is one of the most forested countries in Europe. Forests are an essential part of the environment, and their functions and influences significantly affect the individual elements of that environment. They regulate the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the air. It's believed that the world's forest ecosystems produce 60% of the oxygen we need. Forests are a dust filter and act as a cleaner of the air at ground level. An area of deciduous forest the size of two football pitches filters out some 40 tons of dust a year. A tree in front of your home filters 100 kilos of dust a year. Our forest destroys some harmful microorganisms in the air by broadcasting particles called phytoncides. Thanks to them, one cubic meter of air in the forest has up to 250 times less bacteria than the air in the city. Vegetation in the forest has up to 15 times less radioactivity than that measured in the city. Nuclear accidents, such as those at Chernobyl, have shown that forest areas were a form of barrier to prevent the penetration of radioactive substances in the area behind them. Under the influence of forest vegetation, daily temperature fluctuations are smaller Woods are warmer at night and cooler by day, compared with areas with no forest cover. Forests can reduce the air temperature during the day by three degrees and more. Forests affect precipitation. Humid air in the forest increases the amount of rainfall by 20%, compared to a habitat without forest cover. The forest prevents water pollution, protecting watercourses and reservoirs. When rain falls, a forest absorbs large quantities of that water, and keeps it in the form of a large reservoir. It then gradually lets it flow into the groundwater, springs and streams. This can help eliminate flash floods. Forests increase soil fertility with the help of forest litter, the soil layer consisting of organic waste, leaves, twigs, fruits and roots. The forest reduces noise when appropriate tree species are planted around the source of noise. Sound energy is absorbed due to the internal structure of the tree Forests alongside roads provide excellent protection against avalanches and will last up to 80 years compared to wooden avalanche barriers which may have to be replaced after four or five years. The forest is a primary habitat for many wild animals as a place where they find food and water, rear their young and are protected from excessive heat or cold. Forests are a great source of food. It's estimated the trade in forest products at world level was about $327 billion in 2004. The forest is beneficial for human health. In the depths of the forest, we can renew our spiritual and physical strength. If we protect forests, we protect our lives. The term sustainable forest management is commonplace within the forestry profession, and if well implemented, financed and controlled, represents a major pillar for the maintenance of high ecological value of forests. Forestry is an investment in the future, when forests are managed with the principles of sustainable development, forests offer values that simply cannot be bought. They improve our quality of life. Forests are home to 300 million people around the world, and on our planet, the life of one and a half billion people depends on forests. <laughs>